We're learning more tonight about the pilot who died in a fiery crash while teaching a student how to fly. It happened at the Houston Southwest Airport in Fort Bend County. That student is recovering in the hospital tonight. Our Josh Chapin has more on how the instructor is being remembered. It seems Johnny Johnson had devoted his life to flying, a skill he was trying to pass on to another generation today when something went wrong. We'd sit and talk and visit periodically for 45 years. He's been a pilot, I know, at least 30 years. Vern Kirby has known Johnson since 1972 when they met his salesman in Houston. He got the news today from Johnson's wife. Have to be a gust of wind or something that caused that because Johnny was a, not only was he a good pilot, he was very conscious. I mean, he, he, I've been in that seat next to him more times than I could count. According to investigators, Johnson was the flight instructor in this case. He worked for Houston Light Sport Aviation and had been with the company for about a month. This picture shows he was also a member of the U.S. Air Force Auxiliary Squad, specifically its Civil Air Patrol. I'm 73 years old, he's 68. And at our age, we, we, we've experienced this before. Every day counted. I mean, uh, day by day, uh, we we'll wake up and do the most we can. Beyond flying, Johnson was also running for a congressional seat with the Libertarian Party. We talk almost every day about the situation. He's, he's much more of a freedom fighter than I would be. I'm officially his campaign manager. A man Kirby says he'll miss dearly. Right now, his student is in critical condition while the FAA investigates what led to this accident. In A-Leaf, I'm Josh Chapin, KHOU 11 News.